Thank you very much. It is a great pleasure for me to welcome you to this conference on behalf of the Conrad Adenauer Foundation. And I would like to uh, thank our partners, especially the Center for the Study of Democracy and its chairman, Ognien Shentov, for the excellent cooperation that we had when we prepared this conference. Uh, well, I think we all acknowledge that considerable progress was made towards stability, democracy, and economic recovery in all countries of the Western Balkans, as well as regional cooperation and good neighborly relations between them to the benefit of the peoples of Euro and of Europe as a whole. All the countries of the region have also made good progress in advancing towards the EU. We are, however, also conscious that some challenges are still and do still exist in this region which have to be met, whether they concern the rule of law, economic development, the development of civil society, organized crime, or corruption. Uh, we need to meet these challenges together uh, as European Union, as civil society. I'm sometimes surprised uh, that some people are not conscious that the EU is the biggest donor in the Western Balkans, it is also the main trading partner of the Western Balkans and accounts for more than two-thirds of foreign direct investment in the region. We have to spread this information. Not everybody knows it. Uh, and now we are, have reached a point uh, which is very crucial. I think we are all very grateful to Bulgaria, especially to Prime Minister Kubrasov, also to Foreign Minister uh, Ekaterina Saharovia, we are very honored by your presence today. We know how busy you are. Thank you for joining us this morning. Because you announced at an early stage that strengthening a European perspective for the Western Balkan countries will be a focal point of the Bulgarian presidency of the EU Council. I think Europe has never paid so much attention to the Western Balkans as during the Bulgarian presidency. And this is your merit. And now we have to make it sustainable. This is important. Uh, the presidency is not over and the, on the 30th of June and we forget what has been achieved. We have to keep the momentum. And I'm very glad that uh, EU has adopted a, what is called a credible enlargement strategy uh, for uh, and enhanced EU engagement with the Western Balkans. I like the word credible because this strategy acknowledges the progress that has been made. It does, however, not sugarcoat the problems that still exist, and we must address them for the benefit of uh, the European people and for the benefit of the people in the Western Balkans. We do not do it to make people in Berlin, uh, Amsterdam, or Copenhagen happy. We do it to make people happy in Sofia, in, uh, in uh, well, this is the capital of, of the presidency. We need to make people happy in Belgrade. Uh, in Tirana, wherever we work in the Western Balkans. We have something like a roadmap. I mean, it is a concrete strategy. We have concrete initiatives. Uh, the initiative to enhance support for socio-economic development. The initiative for a digital agenda for the Western Balkans. The initiative to reinforce engagement on security and migration. The initiative to increase transport and energy connectivity. And the initiative to support reconciliation and good neighborly relations. So we know the problems, we know what has to be done. I'm very happy to work for a foundation that can give a small contribution uh, to make this uh, uh, work a successful one. I'm very happy to have you here and uh, to be one of the co-organizers co of this conference. Thank you very much.